to our robot lab. Within this lab, we are researching robotics for in theater and art. Everything that arises here comes from the exchange between autonomous art, robot engineering, academic research and puppetry. The robots we are working with here in this lab are mostly industrial robots. And what we do is actually we, we try to take them out of that context and bring them into theater and art uh, to see how they can enrich this. The results that are coming out of this lab are mostly first ideas, prototypes, uh, little starting points for work in theater and musea. But what we actually also produce is a lot of knowledge and a lot of experiences in working with robotics in an artistic practice. So collecting knowledge and also sharing knowledge. And also an important outcome of this lab are of course all the possible and new collaborations with people and organizations that joins our processes. Today we are going to show some results that are coming from our first research phase. At the same time we are welcoming some international guests and hopefully we will, through their gazes, learn something about what we did and what we created here. So I've just seen um, this entity performing for the first time. It was very interesting. I mean, there were the two different sequences. One felt to me much more sort of gestural and kind of a bit more recognisable of a body. The scale of them being so big, but they move with such a, a sort of beautiful articulation and rotation, it's, it's a mismatch between you expect something so big to be overpowering, but it's not. It's actually moving with a, a real grace. And of course, the, the face, it's like this wonderful child, but is so massively powerful. It's a complete meld of some completely different kind of entity that is robotic and gorgeous at the same time. The second one was uh, more challenging, I thought. The body was a little more syncopated and disjointed and it felt like it was a, quite a different type of body. So it was more surprises for me um, in the relationship of the, of the arms and the face. I think one of, one of the really lovely things about this is the scale, is that really big presence. It feels like kind of gestures are, you know, they're so amplified, plus the sound and, you know, as an experience, it's a little imposing, but very visceral, you know, it feels like, um, you know, it's a, it's a new type of presence that's emerging. One of the, the sort of really sort of, I think, central um, aesthetics or, or poetics of this is this disjuncture between when the hands and the face move as if they were a hands and face, you get the sense that there's a body there, even though it's invisible, a humanoid body. But then each hand and the face are also independently controlled on an independent arm. So they can also do things that are completely out of sync, that. You know, I thought at one point it was like a jazz trio. There's the head taking a solo, there's the hands taking a solo. So it sort of deconstructs and shifts where, you, where your focus uh, goes. It's just a amazing creative potential. It's really not human. And that's the, the exciting part. It's a completely non-human morphology. I think what very exciting about today was uh, the interaction between the human and the robot. That is, is something that we haven't experimented so much with before, because we were mainly experimenting with robots themselves. And here, I think the interaction is, is yeah, it's kind of play of forces uh, between the movement of the robot and the performer moving back. And, and I found that very exciting how their this sense of weight and gravity became so crucial for getting a sense of lifeness of, of the entity and 
how there was a certain relationship emerging that actually supported the sense that the robot is an entity. What can theatre do for developing the interaction between robots and humans and for developing robots as agents in a human world and also to think and reflect about this interaction between humans and robots, how can theatre contribute to that? How can we come to a set of tools and insights and practices that um, are useful when you work at that intersection of theatre and robotics and what can that do for both sides? I think for me the major thing to take away today was about the insights that the performer has, how this shifting of weight, how that can be used um, to support this sense of liveness in an interaction between a human and a robot. <laughs>